Meet me, Mr. Imagination, the man with the magic reputation. Did I hear you wish to go where you think you cannot go? Just ask me, Mr. Imagination, the man with the magic reputation. Hi there. Making wishes come true is my specialty. And sometimes I run into the most peculiar wishes. I remember a long time ago, I was getting ready to take my train out for a short run to Imagination Town when I heard a snore. And there was this young fellow fast asleep on my train. Hey there, wake up! Oh, oh doggone it. I just never get enough sleep. I just wish I Hold were... on there, mister, if it's wishing you want to do. Let's hop over to Imagination Town. All aboard! Time to travel, play the track. Listen to the music of the clickety-clack. Locomotives whistling a merry song. Room for everybody, won't you come along? All aboard, tunnel coming up, everybody duck. Coming into my hometown, Imagination Town, and here we are. All right, everybody, now get your picture book and turn to page two. And every time you hear, why, just turn the page. Okay, mister. Ready to make your wish? You bet. Let's go, then. I wish I were, I wish I were, I wish I were. Just tell me who. I promise you it will come true. Whatever you wish, you wish you were. I wish I were Rip Van Winkle. No sooner said than done. <coughs> Howdy, Rip. Golly, Rip Van Winkle. The laziest man in creation. And boy... Am I glad to be here? Hey, Rip, Rip. <laughs> Lazy is right. When Rip Van Winkle, he was born, stretched his arms, began to yawn. Folks around him worked like crazy. Rip decided he'd be lazy. Why? Bees were busy making honey, people busy making money, making hay when days were sunny. Nothing left for Rip to do but laze around. Okay, Rip, let's get going. Huh? Oh, where do we go from here? Well, home, I guess. Home to your wife. Wife? Am I married? Yep, and what's more, you're the father of two children. Who, me? Rip! Rip and Rip! Hmm, sounds like your wife's voice, Rip. Rip, come on home! Come on, Rip, might as well go and face the music. Doesn't sound like music to me. Okay, Mr. I. I asked for it. Let's go home. Okay. Hop on my magic whistle. Here we are, Riff. Mmm, smell that mountain air. Oh, you sure are lucky, Rip, to be living right in the middle of the Catskill Mountains. Oh, golly, there she goes again. See, maybe we ought to give her a chance to simmer down. Why don't we stop at this inn for a while? The George the Third Inn. King George the Third of England? Is he still around? Well, Rip, this is only 1769. He still has a few more years to go. Rip, Rip! Come on, Rip. Seems to be a flurry of excitement over at your house. Oh, just wait. Wait till I get my hands on that good-for-nothing lazy husband of mine. The pigs are gone. The chickens are gone. The corn is gone. The tomatoes are gone. Oh, hush up, babies. Looking for me, dear? Oh, so there you are. Now, let me tell you something, Mr. Rip Van Lazywinkle. Yes, dear, I know. You see, he won't even listen to me. All he does is talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And furthermore, there isn't a thing to eat in the house. Well, in that case, Rip, supposing we grab your musket and go hunt for some game. Yes, Rip. And please, come back soon. Oh, he makes me so mad. <laughs> You know something, Mr. I? I don't blame her a bit for being mad. Oh, I wish she didn't have to work so hard. Well, he's asleep again. Guess he'll just never change. When Rip grew up, he used to say, 
can hardly wait till Saturday. The day that follows I like best, for Sunday is the day of rest. Oh, tailors busy with their sewing, farmers busy with their growing, everybody busy something doing. Nothing left for Rip to do but laze around. Okay, Rip, on your feet. Hey, why don't we climb this mountain? Plenty good hunting up there, I've been told. Okay, Mr. I, right behind you. Are we there yet, Mr. I? Nope, gotta go higher. Aren't we there yet? Nope, gotta go still higher. No? Nope, just a little higher. <laughs> ah, here we are. Wonderful view, isn't it? Look at that Hudson River down there. Looks like we're going to have a thunderstorm. That's funny. There isn't a cloud in the sky. Hmm, I wonder if that story's true. What story's that? Well, there are some folks say that the ghosts of Captain Henrik Hudson and his men live here, right on top of this very mountain. And according to the story, they spend all their time bowling. And every time they roll the ball, well, it sounds like thunder. Just like that. Mr. I, look, right beyond those trees, do you see what I see? It looks like a band of Dutchmen. And they're bowling, too. Oh, that's Captain Hudson and his men, all right. Hi there, Captain. Good day. Good day to you. Help! Help! Hey, Miss Roy, tell the brother John. Tell me, Miss Roy. It's all right, Rip. It's all right. They just want you to be their pin boy. Yeah, yeah. You mean set up the pins after they knock them down? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Captain Hudson. You bowl. I'm ready. from your jug of apple cider? Thanks. Nine. Nine, nine, hey, take nine. take it easy, Rip. Nine, nine. Rip, take nine, it easy. Nine, nine. Gee, I feel sleepy. Just one, please. Nine, nine. Sleep, twenty. Twenty sleep. What's that, Captain? The apple cider's going to make him sleep 20 years? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Sleep 20 years. Goodbye. See. <laughs> Mrs. Rip Van Winkle isn't going to like this one bit. Twenty years. Hey, a lot can happen in that time. Hey, Rip, wake up! Wake up, Rip Van Winkle, time is flying. Open wide your eyes, it's time to go. Get up, Rip Van Winkle, stop that snoring. Or you'll sleep for twenty years or so. The seasons come and go, but Rip, he doesn't know that. Spring, sprang, summer, simmered, fall, bell, winter, shivered, spring, sprang, summer, simmered, fall, bell, winter, shivered, spring, sprang, summer, simmered, fall. Wow. <laughs> they came and went for 20 years and more. And all that Rip did was just sleep and snow. Well, the time is now 20 years past. Funny thing is, Rip will never believe it. <laughs> Just wait and see. I so must have overslept. Was I asleep long? Oh, about 20 years. 20 years? Ouch! My back! Guess I caught some rheumatism. Shouldn't have slept on the damp ground. And what's this? Me with a beard? Nice and long, too, isn't it? Oh, watch it, Rip, or you'll trip over it. Oh, gee, this beard sure grew fast overnight, didn't it? I'd better go home and shave it off. Come on. Right with you, Rip. Come on, everybody. This is going to be really something. <laughs> Mr. I, Mr. I. What's the matter, Rip? There's something funny going on around here. This whole village seems to be bigger and different. 
I don't see anybody I know. It sure is funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a different sign. George Washington in. George Washington? Who's he? Oh, he's the President of the United States. United what? Oh, Mr. I, you're just trying to mix me up. I'm going to ask someone else. Oh, miss? Miss? Yes, venerable sir. Venerable? Oh, of course, the beard. Miss, could you please tell me what's going on around here? What happened to King George III? Oh, he isn't our king anymore. Why, that's terrible. Did all this happen since last night? Last night? Oh, no, many years ago. What? Please, one more question. Does anybody know Rip Van Winkle? Why, of course. What did I tell you, Mr. I? He's my brother. Huh? Oh, Rip, come over here. I'm Rip Van Winkle. Who are you, old fella? I'm sure I don't know anymore. If you are Rip, who am I? I was Rip Van Winkle last night. Then I fell asleep on the mountaintop. Now everything's changed. I'm changed. Who am I? Well, there used to be another Rip Van Winkle. He was our father. What happened to him? Well, 20 years ago, he went out to hunt for some game. And he's never been seen since. 20 years? Then it is true. Children, don't you know me? Hey, you do look familiar at that. Of course, I'm alive, children. I'm your father. Why, you do look like my dear father. Oh, Papa, welcome back. Oh, nice to have you back, Papa. Oh, I'm so sleepy. No, you don't. Wake up, son. Up on your feet. From now on, no one in my family's gonna be lazy. No, sir. Just imagine what I missed by sleeping 20 years. Rip, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Well, what do you know? When Rip grew old, he changed his mind. Left his lazy days behind. Hustle, bustle, Rip turned busy. Folks who watched them, they felt dizzy. Oh, these they stopped their making honey. People stopped their making money. Tailors stopped their busy sewing. Farmers stopped their busy growing. Everybody lazy, nothing doing. Rip did all the work and they just stood around. Oh, and uh, if you should ever decide to wish yourself into Rip Van Winkle, take my advice. Be sure and set your alarm clock. Twenty years is a mighty long time. So long. (laughs) 